Hello and welcome to this new episode of We Talk Audio. I'm your host Luca and joining me today is Leonardo Fibucchi. Uh, Leonardo is a, um, a specialist uh, firmware engineer here at PowerSoft. He's been working with us for the last three, four years or something. Four years. Yeah, four years. And uh, so welcome. Thank you. Uh, please, uh, if, you, if you may, uh, you can introduce yourself a little bit better than what I just did and okay. tell us a little bit about you. And actually, I am Leonardo Fibucchi, as you said, and I, um, I've been passionate about music uh, since I was a child. I play piano since the age of six years old, and I um, always love to perform also live. Uh, on stage, I started to uh, do live concert at the age of 14, uh, playing keyboards. And in all the years, I always uh, played something. I had different bands, and I I always um, loved to uh, how can I say uh, involve uh, the world around me with music. So I, my family, uh, there are there are many musicians in my family. And so I, I've grown up in this musical environment. And I also have the passion for uh, math, science, so I decided to become an engineer, and an electronic engineer. And I tried to uh, merge my two passions, so for electronic and music, and power, so has been the, the perfect environment to... Okay. Uh, Great. Oh, let's 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 stay on the subject. So you said you you, you you've been playing for uh, most of your life now. Yeah. And uh, one thing uh, people struggle a lot with is uh, is stage fright and uh, how how that is able to hinder your performance uh, to the point that you I don't know as a DJ you would you would step up and your hands will tremble when you, <laughs> when you grab the needle or or as a saxophonist uh, I'm just drawing from my experience I would I would just just relentlessly screw up all the beginnings of the tunes because I, I can see the people and the people are watching me. So what, do you have any tricks that you can share with us? To... Actually, I think it's, it's kind of mm, written in your nature. I mean, I, since I was a kid, I have never felt um, bad yeah. on a stage. I mean, I always felt like uh, people watching, like something that can uh, give the better me of, of my uh, ability off, especially on stage. So it, it's kind of funny because the, the majority of people who know me in the normal life uh, are, um, are quite stunned when they see me on the stage because they say it's, it's not the same person. I mean, it's, it's like a, it changed the flip personality because on stage I actually have a lot of fun. So uh, dancing and like I feel I really feel the energy of the people cheering, watching. It's, but it's not something like I would say it's a train for. It's, I mean, I always uh, did some theater and okay. always loved also um, the, all the acting side of uh, entertainment, so shows. Uh, and I've never actually done a musical, but I would really love it because actually in, in the years I've learned to sing and but uh, you know when, when you grow up it's, it's difficult to have time to do a and, musical. <laughs> and do you have any particular taste in musicals? There's some that you like more than others and you would like to participate in? Because mm, I'm scripturing here. Yeah really <laughs> that's great and actually yes I have a favorite musical and that's uh, the, the Miserable All right. uh, uh, yeah. by Victor Hugo. Yeah. And I loved that. I especially loved the um, film edition that came off with uh, Hugh Jackman. Yeah, and classic. I really, and that tune, uh, I discovered that, mm, that the soundtracks came from an earlier version. And it's also performed in theaters from other actors. So I, I actually had luck to 
to see a performance of, of the show in the theater in London. Oh, the, right. The Queen Theater, if I remember well. Yeah, I think it was around uh, 2011, 12, that time frame, right? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I remember, I could recall like the, the I think like 2015. Yeah, something like that. I was like around. That. Yeah. I was around. Yeah, yeah, that I, was yeah. awesome. I was like, uh, was me and uh, an, an old woman, but we at, at the end we watch each other. We were both crying. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, we almost uh, <laughs> hug each other because really great performance. And, yeah, uh, musicals uh, have that bad reputation with a lot of people. They just don't like it and don't enjoy it and don't watch it. But I, I, I feel like these people should go and watch a live um, screening of the movie mm. or a live version of Rocky Horror Picture Show before judging any musical, really, because then you you get to feel that energy you, you were yeah. talking about. And uh, especially uh, in that musical, you, for those of, of, of our viewers that don't know, uh, you would go to the theater dressed up just like the characters and you would scream the lines at the, <laughs> at the characters and the, there's, there's interesting stuff that goes on when you break that barrier between mm. the stage and uh, the people in front. And uh, a lot of times, uh, going back to confidence and uh, how to get uh, over stage fright, a lot of times is uh, about breaking that uh, the wall. invisible wall yes. and, and actually generating a genuine connection with the audience. That's, that's when you when you start uh, mm -hmm. vibing off the same energy. And uh, it's something that uh, even audio engineers get uh, while they're mixing uh, front of uh, a front of house or even a monitor mix, uh, because uh, then you, you get to vibe with the band. Yeah. The band gets to vibe with the engineer. The, well, the engineer is making the whole thing vibe, so uh, everybody's yeah. vi hopefully <laughs> vibing uh, in unison, you know? So Leonardo uh, usually performs uh, with, with a sick guitar at our uh, um, corporate uh, events, which, is, which I think is quite sick because you don't see them uh, around. Uh, yeah, so often. actually, uh, I bought that as a personal gift for my graduation, an <laughs> electronic engineer. And since then, I didn't have much occasion to use that a lot. So the Powersoft events are perfect, I think, for... We, uh, uh, I, we, I think we need, we need to make more so we can have more guitar <laughs> going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I think we can move on to a little game that my colleagues uh, have prepared for us. Oh, I am great. not uh, so much... Uh, uh, I wasn't briefed too much uh, on, the, on the matter, so stay with me with this let's one. Let's see. You. So let's start with this one. It's the longest one. What truly unites us... Uh, unites PowerSoft's R&D team and keeps them in sync, so you guys, uh, in their pursuit of excellence in technological innovation. So is it, wow, this is, this is almost corporate cringe, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Professionalism and dedication, daily scrums. Yeah, which, yeah. we do that a lot. Uh, nerdy nights or, or is it lunch breaks and coffee breaks? Yeah. Where, where, where does the magic come from? Actually, I think the... Um, the real magic, uh, magic comes from the passion of the people. Actually, I, I see that all the people in PowerSoft, uh, in R&D especially, for those that I can experience daily, uh, really put themselves in what they're doing. So it's not like uh, there's the guy who always slack off or doesn't want to do anything. And, and you know that all the people are really on their job so they like it they want to do it good and that makes you uh, want to to do it better yourselves so uh, i think that first of all it's the quality of people and yeah. i have to say that in r d people they're all very qualified team very passionate people and and, and that in, involves you know i mean you feel like you are inside something of uh, bigger, mm -hmm. it's a uh, higher quality, you, and and you are not uh, oriented to let go, but to put yourself on and say, everyone is doing their best. I I can do my best too. I can give the best to to the people around me. And actually, there's a good also uh, team in the meaning of uh, daily life. So uh, even if sometimes there's some shout there and here. But uh, people actually are doing good together. They, we 
for example, have some night gaming night and with R and D team together mm -hmm. we usually have lunch maybe once a week or even more. We go with ten people uh, random people, let's say, just who those who didn't bring lunch simply. Yeah, yeah. And we go together to eat. So that that's also a good uh, feeling between yeah. peoples. And, and and that's it's the basic. I mean it, because if there's something that is wrong between people, uh, products uh, reflect this uh, division. So if two different teams, uh, I could say, for example, software team and hardware team or firmware team and mechanical team, just to say randomly, have personal grudge between them, incredibly, the product it, itself it shows reflect. the same grudges. Yeah. And and that's luckily what what uh, what doesn't happen here. Yeah, and uh, you being in the firmware team, uh, you you get to uh, be kind of the bridge yeah. between the software engineering and the hardware engineering. Yeah. So you gotta have a grasp of uh, everything that's going on uh, throughout. You know. Yeah, I also have a, as I say a, a little foot also on the hardware team. Okay, I did okay. some design, for example, and hardware review. So due also to my electronic background. So actually being, yes, the bridge, uh, being the bridge is something I, I understand. It's a very yeah. good description. And sometimes it's the, the more difficult part is communicate. And it's not that people uh, are evil, let's say, no. or they um, want to do personal fight, but they uh, try to uh, feel their own work as their own person okay and so sometimes where there's conflicts it's it's not that there's personal conflict it's like that the the work of people who is conflicting yeah, and, yeah, and each yeah. one but it's not for uh, pride it's for love of, yeah, of, it's of, quality. of product because yeah. in each mind there's the, the the thought of i am the i'm i'm trying to do the best yeah so yeah. When you can break these things and try to help people communicate, yeah, on a level plane, yeah, yeah, works go much yeah. better. Yeah, yeah, no, that's interesting. We got some great insights today. Eh? So, uh, next question. Yeah. If you could have a, one superpower as a power self employee, what would it be? And uh, I mean, we're keeping being trans morphing into a deva <laughs> out of the equation. I mean, so the ability to teleport from home to the office without the commute. Yes, that will be me. Yeah, me as well. Uh, wow, there is so much traffic here, crazy. Uh, laser vision to find bugs. <laughs> That's, that could be great as well. Yeah, elasticity to stretch time uh, <laughs> and coffee breaks, of course. <laughs> that will be me. Uh, invisibility uh, when yet another bug <laughs> needs fixing. Well, actually, I don't know. It's, it, there's a lot of useful stuff yeah. right there, you said. And probably I'd, I'd really love to teleport myself here yeah. from work because actually I spend a lot of the time in, in traffic jam and that's energy that I drained yeah. off. But if I had to use a superpower inside the R&D lab, I don't know. I would say probably the um, ability to speak with the amplifier itself. Yeah, something so like... I'm trying to, to tell him what I'm trying to do. Please help me. I mean, I'm trying to do this because usually it, the, the struggle is I know what I have to do, but... It's not translating. It's not, it's not, you're not doing what I want you to do. Yeah, so yeah. please, like, do this. I, I just want you to do this. A and quote say, oh, from, sorry, so this, this is a bug. Oh, yes, it yeah. is. A quote from Bob Moog uh, comes into mind, which uh, he, he used to say that he could actually feel electricity moving through uh, yeah. his, uh, his circuits, uh, his, uh, each and every synthesizer that he built. So yeah, that will be, uh, that will be as if Claudio could just impose his hand <laughs> yeah. on top of, a, of an amp and go like, all right, I know where it, where it needs fixing. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 great, the, the top would be that Amplify itself programs Itself. itself. So you just go, yes, I want you to do this and this. I go take a coffee break. Then we talk again later. And maybe <laughs> maybe AI will come into our aid. I mean, so the last one. Yeah. Um, oh, this is interesting. Nice that we kept it for last. So uh, if PowerSoft uh, were a musical genre, uh, which one would it be and why? PowerSoft. I don't want to read him, but the, the, the genres, should I? Yeah, yeah, all right. Jazz fusion, 
techno pop, <laughs> rock, or something else entirely? I, I'd go for the last one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that uh, it starts to give a, a genre to the whole power source. And I mean, I would like to, in my mind, I would say that, like, for example, harder team is art rock. I don't yeah. know. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> but, but dad's rock, you know, like, yeah. like Grateful Dead, the kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I would say that a um, software team is more, uh, it's, there's a, is there a genre when you would like to play something and then there's a bug and, and you play something different? Outsider music, yeah, <laughs> yeah outsider music know. or acousmatic. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know, music. maybe uh, those kind of jazz fusion that yeah. people listen and don't understand if, did it did that on purpose or is just, is it a feature or is it a bug? So no, I think <laughs> shots fired here. <laughs> no, but I think uh, to the old power stuff, I would like to say, if I have to give a genre, uh, R&B, soul and R&B. Yeah, it's got a mixture of both. Yeah, you, you got you got the little rap intros and then yeah, you got you the have, soulful. You have the passion, you have yeah. the innovation, you have you can put them yeah, there. Yeah, and it fits with everything. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes from uh, Coachella to church yeah. audio to... That's point. Ramstein to <laughs> everything. Yeah, and yeah. Until Ramstein you can get there. Right? Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> No, that's 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 some interesting stuff coming out today. I don't want to stop this episode. <laughs> so, but unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. So, Leonardo, uh, it's been great having you here, yeah. and thank, thank you, you for all the insights. And possibly we will have Leonardo next year presenting this because no, no. I think it's got it's got it ticks all the boxes. <laughs> Grazie. Grazie a te.